Hi everyone, this is Aya from Foyer Neo and today I'm going to be taking you through building a bedroom design. So first step is to obviously build our room with like the walls. So I'm going to go in with the room tool and that will just so make it so much quicker and easier for me to have my space built out. So just like that, I'll have the four walls. Now personally, I like to, um, the first things I like to place in my space is windows and doors so that's what i'm going to place first so i'll begin with the um white double doors right here now personally i want to change the direction in which they open so i'll just click onto the door and edit button and then just flip them vertically next i'll work in my windows so i'll have these windows placed and these will be um on either side of the bed and then I have another window that will go on top of the bed. Now I like to place these in 2D mode and then once I go into 3D mode, I'll kind of fix up where they are and how everything's placed. But I just find it easier to place everything in 2D mode. It's just so much simpler to see the overall view. From there, I'll start putting in my furniture. Um, with a bedroom, I like to start obviously with the largest piece of furniture, which is the bed. So I'll just grab that and put it in place. Um, from there, I'll put in my bedside tables and just clone that one to have it on this side as well. And then I will go in with the bench that I want to be on the end of the bed the white blanket that will be placed on top of the bed and the rug. So after placing these items, I then like to go into 3D mode, see how everything looks in place and kind of work from there. So now I'm in 3D mode and this is where I will start editing um, the things that I have placed inside of my room. So first of all, I'll start with rotating this window because I want to have a different look for that and resize it to have it a little larger. I'll also adjust the position of the windows that I have. And same thing with the bedside tables. Now personally, I wanna change the color um, and the texture of the bed and the bedside tables. So this is where I will go in and do that. So this will be the color for the bed, <clears throat> the grant beige from the texture tab. And for my bedside tables, they are going to be in the color almost black. And since I cloned the same bedside table, it just makes it so much quicker to have them both have the same texture throughout. So just going to, here we go. Now the next thing I will change that I feel like makes a big difference in a space is the flooring. So this is the flooring that I want and I'll just drag and drop it. Now obviously I'm going to resize this so let's have it as a 4x4 four four for now. And I'll rotate it 90 degrees to change the way that the, that the floor is facing. Um, from here then I'll go in and add everything else that will go into my room. So. I will add the curtains that will go on top of my windows and just move them back by clicking on them, free movement. And once I see that blue highlight, that's when I know that it is properly against the wall. From here, I'll resize it to have it touch the floor and then move it over. and a clone to have the same one on the other side. Just like that. I'll then fix up the blanket that I have for my bed just because uh, sometimes you do have to do that.
and resize it to have it fit the bed properly. And I'll then move the bench backwards and have it where I want it to be and resize that as well. I'll go in and place the cushions on the bed just to finish it off and move on to the next thing. So I'll start off with these white pillows that I'll just place there and move them all the way back. Now I'm going to be using the white linen throw pillow cushions and placing them directly onto my bed. From here I'll just move them back. And grab these same cushions again and place them in front of these ones. And same thing, move them back. So what I'm actually going to do is resize the ones in the back to have it a little larger. And finally, for the bed, just have the mustard pillow. And resize that one as well. Now for the cushions, I'm actually going to change the texture for them as well. And have it this grey linen. So just for the back ones. And that's the bed done and completed. Put in the rest of the furniture for the room. And... Pretty quick and simple, just click and drag. Like I said, I just find it a little bit um, quicker to do this all in 2D mode. We'll have a coffee table here, have a nice sitting area in the bedroom. And have some accent chairs for sitting and relaxing on. And one on the other side. And then we will put in some little decorative items just to dress up the room a little bit. Some plants, candle, and books. Now you'll find a lot of um, accessories and things that can be placed throughout a space to really bring it to life and look so much better. So now that I'm done and I've completed my entire room, the last thing I'd like to do is actually, while still in 2D mode, come into floor plan mode and then click on to ceiling plan mode. Once I do that, this is how I like to place my lighting. I just find it so much easier to line up the lights and have them be exactly where I want them to be. So I'm going to use this chandelier in the center and then the circular lights to brighten up the room. And as you can see, I'm using the grid lines to line up my lights and have them be um, in line with each other. And then back into, th back into 3D mode just to um, finalize my space and put the finishing touches. Into my short list. And grab this bed runner that I'm actually going to use on this um, ottoman in front of the bed. 
and we'll just rotate it a little there you go that it's really that simple now um i don't want this wall over here to be empty so i'm just going to quickly dress it up so pretty easy just find um, something within the catalog or the texture tab that you like so in this case I'm going to use white wood paneling and place it there now again I want to change the direction in which it's facing so I'm just going to rotate that and then resize it to fit the entire wall and then simply put a piece of artwork to tie in the whole space together and again resize this to have it more to scale with everything else that's in this space perfect so from here like I said just putting in any final touches that I can think of so going to add some table lamps onto the bedside tables a floor lamp over here And that is about it. So this is the completed look. And now we'll have a look at how the final renderings look. And this is our result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun designing.